All right, y'all, we are out here with the HPI Quantum XT. Quick run with this. I uh, got my SMC LiPo's in here. Some of the newer 3S ones, of course. As always, there's links in the description for it. Park's starting to get a couple people in here, so I probably won't be driving this too long. I won't be able to take it around the back because a lot of people gathering around the back to do some jumps. But I figured I'd get a, another quick run in. Oh, I'm running to that pole. So this truck is still stock out the box. Um, I did my speed test on it. So we're going to be doing some jumping real soon with this. The weather's fairly nice in the 70s, 80s. So we should be fine. So if something breaks, it's just going to be the car that's breaking. and can't talk about cold weather getting the plastics and breaking them. So definitely going to have to possibly I was trying to avoid it putting some thicker oil in this center dip because you guys see the way those front tires are ballooning it's kind of the reason why I'm driving it today as well seeing what kind of minor tweaks I can make to it I usually try to leave them stock out the box but I think usually dip oil and shock oil are some of the things I try to just make adjustments on truck's going good though You guys know links are below to purchase one as well people are talking about part support i am seeing parts getting out there little by little i think it's going to take them a little bit longer to maybe get some more parts out for this i know it sucks to have a car and it breaks and you can't find parts for it but it happens best way i can put it best thing i can try to do is try to find uh something that's compatible to the car and sometimes with some of the cars like this that cars that companies take and try to rebrand in it's usually just a different type of car they just put their own sticker on it or whatever but so if you guys know of any that kind of resemble this let me know Get somebody out here and do some laps. <laughs> do a figure eight, go around that, come on up, put a little jump right here in the middle. Come up here, maybe go down. Come around there, and then come on back down. Ramp going both ways. Yeah, it must be a uh, baseball training time or softball training time. A lot of people are coming up here, so I'm probably going to end this in just a few minutes. But I did want to get this out, kind of run it, try to re remember what I needed to, if possible, make an adjustment on. So I have to put something in my notebook for this particular car to put some thicker on the center disc. Might just go with some 50K or something in there. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what it comes with stock out the box. Like it might just be grease in there for all we know. <laughs> Probably is, but. Get one more quick rundown. I'm probably gonna end this video. Ooh, I almost ran right into that tree. <laughs> all right, y'all, that's gonna be a quick run of this. I kinda wanna take it to the back, but I'm not going to. I know there's a lot of people back there and stuff. Uh, but I will take this back there at some point in time and do some running with it. I'm going to take this to the skate park and the BMX track. So I'm going to have a whole bunch of my uh, 10 scale cars with me so I can take them all out there and kind of film at once. So 
Uh, stay tuned for that. If you guys got one, you made some adjustments to it. Let me know kind of what you've done to it in the comments as far as trying to beef the truck up. So far, mine's has been fine, but I've been kind of just doing some general running and some small jumps and stuff with it. But I plan on taking it through a little bit more and then seeing what kind of bodies I can fit on there. So, it, so if I don't want this truggy look, I can kind of have a truck look to it as well. So anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.